Here we have a triangle ABC. We know two angles on this triangle. One is 40 degrees, the other is 20 degrees. We have a segment KD that splits the sides BC and IC in a way that CD equals to AB in length and CK equals to AD in length. Okay? And we are asked to find this angle X right here. Before I'm going to continue, I want to mention there is another solution of this problem. There is a link in the description to this video. And in that video, I discuss how to solve this problem using trigonometry. Here and now, we're going to use pure geometry, nothing else. Notice that we have an angle of 20 degrees and another angle of 40 degrees, which is twice as much as the first angle. So let's consider a more general problem. We have a triangle ABC. We have one angle of alpha and another angle of two alpha. What we're going to do here is we're going to draw a segment BD from a point B such that BD in length is the same as AB. In this case, ABD is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, angles at the base should be congruent. It means this, this angle D should be 2 alpha. This angle 2 alpha is an external angle to the triangle BDC. Uh, one of the angle in that triangle is alpha, and it's not that difficult to show that the other angle, namely this angle B, is also has to be alpha. In fact, this external angle D should be the sum of this angle B and this angle C. Now look, we have angle alpha here, angle alpha here, two congruent angles in a triangle BDC. It means that this triangle is an isosceles triangle and CD is the same length as BD. So now, if we apply this logic to the picture above, what do we see here? We see the angle alpha of 20 degrees. We see angle of 2 alpha of 40 degrees. We see that AB and CD are the same length. And therefore, we can quickly see that BD should be also the same length. And it should be green. And it means that this angle D here should be 40 degrees. And this angle right here should be 180 minus this 40 and minus this 40, and that is 100 degrees. Now, what do we do now? Normally, we are looking in problems like this for isosceles triangles, equilateral triangles, and try to find what we want to find, find this angle X. Now, we found a lot of green lengths. So we can find a lot of isosceles triangles that have those green legs. But somehow we have a problem relating this red length AD and this red length CK. Somehow we need to relate them. So one of the ideas would be look at this triangle right here. ABD. Right? And maybe construct exactly the same triangle on this red line, CK, and get something like this. So in this case, these blue triangles are going to be congruent. Angles at the base here are the same as angles here, 40 degrees, and this angle E will be the same as this angle B of 100 degrees. Now, we got something new. And again, we continue to investigate what we have here, and namely, we're looking for isosceles and equilateral triangles. One thing we notice that the CD and EC are the same length. Therefore, this triangle ECD should be a isosceles triangle. And also we know one of the angles in this isosceles triangle is angle C. It's 20 plus 40, that's 60 degrees. But that means that the other two angles also have to be 60 degrees. And now we got a triangle where all three angles are 60 degrees. 
such a triangle is called equilateral triangle. And that means that ED also green. It should be the same length as EC and CD. But if this angle is 60 degrees right here, and this big angle E, KEC, is 100 degrees, because it's the same as this angle B, it means that this angle right here, KED, should be 40 degrees. But now let's look at triangle KED. It's an isosceles triangle. And we know one angle in this isosceles triangle. And that means that the other two, which are congruent to each other, this angle K, EKD, and EDK, those angles should be 70 degrees. But now look at this angle K here, big angle K. Tall angle is 70 degrees. And this angle consists of angle of 40 degrees and angle X. And therefore, this angle X has to be 30 degrees. And that's our final answer.